hosted live on an affordable island located somewhere roughly around the Alola region. The first and only Silver League's Top 10 Winners of Gen 7 Awards is upon us! And in the lead up to this monumentous event, we'll be taking a look at the four nominees who will be fighting for the prestigious honor of being the absolute biggest winner of Gen 7. Who will walk away with the Golden Cosmom Award? Well, let's check out the nominees. The third nominee! Halucha. Oh, Halucha. When you first debuted in Gen 6, fate wasn't overly cruel to you, but you did get shafted just a little bit. You had some pretty handy abilities, as well as an interesting signature move in the form of Flying Press. A move that calculates both flying and fighting damage. Pretty neat. But then there was the part where you got shafted. Because with that very handy Unburdened ability, it almost seemed like a match made in heaven for the Flying Gem. A combo that saw a lot of play back in Gen 5. However, Gen 6 had different plans for the gems. In that it basically took all of them except Normal Gem away. Which was strange, but nevertheless... You didn't have access to the very thing that would have made you actually a very handy and somewhat fearsome Pokemon. So while you weren't terrible in Gen 6, it did feel like for much of the era you did fly under the radar so to speak. However, things changed come Gen 7 when you found your new best pal, Tapu Koko. And frankly all of the Tapus, but we the fans all saw that you formed a special relationship with Koko. Maybe it was because you were both birds. Maybe it was because you offered something that Tapu Koko lacked. That physical strength. He had an ability that would trigger your own, allowing you to consume the ever handy electric seed, and you would get that surgeon power that made you a champ. Back in the early days of Gen 7, before move tutors were reintroduced in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you were rocking the scene with your best bro, Tapu Koko. And even after that, Lucha Koko proved to be a combo that was not to be undermined. With a terrain active, a seed eaten, and a sword stance active, Han Lucha became a menace, an absolute threat. Flying and fighting are two amazing stabs to have. High jump kick is devastating. Sure, it can be blocked via protect, but couple this with acrobatics and you have something that is not to be messed with at all. Generation 7 was really kind to you, but then again, you always had that potential for greatness. You just need to meet the right people, train really hard, and you worked for it. You, sir, are one of the best. You cast a very strong first impression at the start of the gen, and even now, when the strategy doesn't see quite as much play, you're still fondly remembered for those great moments that rocked the beginning of the generation and retained excellent potential, especially as Tapu Koko would continue to see tons of play way after the fact. But generally speaking, all the Tapus had a fond respect for Halucha. He came in from the Kalos region, learned the customs, respected their traditions, and he got stronger. He applied himself, he trained hard, he didn't give up on what made him who he was, and in that respect for tradition, while also learning to improve himself and grow, Hanlucha, my friend, you're an all-star who deserves all the praise in the Alola region. And for that reason, you're a nominee for one of the biggest winners of Gen 7. The Silver League's Top 10 Winners of Gen 7 Awards is brought to you by... Electric Seed Crisp Cereal. Get your morning started with a jolt to the taste buds. Mmm, mmm. And look forward to the last nominee that'll be coming out soon enough in the lead-up to the big award show itself. See you all next time, guys!